Nowadays, there are people who prefer grabbing a tablet instead of a laptop for work. It's usually more lightweight and cheaper than laptops as well. Huawei recently launched the new MatePad 11.5 last August. Shortly after, Xiaomi released the Pad 6. These two tablets are similar in price, but which one is the right one for you? Hey guys, it's CJ of Yugatech, and today we'll be doing a breakdown of which tablet you should go for. Between the aforementioned Huawei Mate Pad 11.5 and the Xiaomi Pad 6. Let's dive in. Both the Huawei Mate Pad 11.5 and the Xiaomi Pad 6 come with an aluminum frame. From the rear, the logo of the Mate Pad 11.5 is on the center, while the Pad 6 is seen on the upper left. Looking at the two, the Mate Pad 11.5 is slightly bigger with an 11.5 inch display while the Pad 6 has an 11-inch panel. In landscape orientation, both devices have the camera islands positioned on the upper right, but we dig the Mate Pad 11.5's minimalistic placement compared to the Pad 6's square design. How are the cameras? We'll get back to that in a sec. Going into I.O., the two tablets are almost identical. Both devices feature quad speakers found on the right and left sides, the volume button is found on the top, while the power button is found on the left side. Each USB Type-C port is situated on the right side. However, visibly, the Pad 6 has 4 mics, while the Mate Pad 11.5 only has 2. There are also more color options with the Xiaomi Pad 6, as it comes in 3 color wigs. Gravity Gray, Gold, and Mist Blue. The Huawei Mate Pad 11.5 only comes in one color option, which is Space Gray. Funny that both devices have space-themed names for their gray color variants. Huh. Thanks, Apple. For display, the Huawei Mate Pad 11.5 has an 11.5-inch TFT LCD panel with a resolution of 2200 by 1440 and sports 120Hz refresh rate. Meanwhile, the Xiaomi Pad 6 comes with an 11-inch WQHD Plus LCD panel that features a resolution of 2880 by 1800 and a 144Hz refresh rate. Both displays are sharp and still immersive, but the main Pad 11.5 is slightly more washed out than the Pad 6, and its WB out of the box leans towards the cooler side. The Pad 6, however, is more vibrant with Dolby Vision support and has a higher refresh rate for competitive gaming and smoother UI animations. But hey, both displays in general are still very enjoyable for watching videos and playing games. When it comes to sound quality for these devices, both the MatePad 11.5's and the Pad 6's speakers are loud. But we have to give it to the Pad 6's speakers, due to the better clarity as they provide a marginally clearer sound stage. For chipsets, the Huawei MatePad 11.5 is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 chipset that features an Adreno 644 GPU with either 6 or 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. The Pad 6, however, runs on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 875G chipset with an Adreno 650 GPU. It comes in either 6 or 8 gigs of RAM and either 128 or 256 gig of internal storage. The Philippine versions only have the 8GB RAM configurations though. Both devices are decent daily drivers when it comes to productivity, such as going through different apps, writing documents or spreadsheets, and even playing games. We couldn't even tell much of a difference in regular use. Although, for those interested in benchmark scores, here's what we got for both those devices. For cameras, both tablets have a 13 megapixel rear camera and 8 megapixel front facing camera, though you wouldn't use either of these tablets to shoot pictures when you're at a party or a concert, unless you want to be that person. But if you need to scan documents and capture text, both devices can definitely do that. Interestingly enough, both the Mate 11.5 and the Pad 6 are able to shoot at 4K resolution at 30 FPS. For video conferences, both are great choices as they both have front cameras that are able to keep the subject in focus and centered. Here are some sample shots from both devices for reference.
Huawei runs on Harmony OS 3.1, which is the company's version of Android. Most Android features are still available in this device, and if you're worried about not getting any Google apps, you can simply download them through the Huawei App Gallery. So, if you are a new user in Play 23, you don't have to worry about adjusting to the tablet. Meanwhile, the Xiaomi Pad 6 runs on the MIUI Pad 14, based on Android 13, so adjusting from one Android device to this one wouldn't be a problem either. Both devices have pre-installed apps such as WPS Office and features for their pens and keyboards. They also have a multi-window support, but the Pad 6 takes the bag here, as it allows four apps, two in split-screen and two floating windows, to run all at the same time while the MatePad 11.5 can only run up to 3, 2 with split screen, and 1 in a floating window. However, when it comes to productivity work, since the Huawei MatePad 11.5 gives you PC-level WPS Office, working on spreadsheets, PowerPoints, documents, and the like on this device would feel more like you're working on a desktop. So we gotta give kudos to the MatePad for that. When it comes to battery, the MatePad 11.5 has a 7,700mAh battery capacity, but has no form of fast charging. The Pad 6, however, has a bigger capacity as it's powered with an 8,814 mAh battery with 33 watts wired charging support. We've ran both devices on PC Mark's Work 3 battery test, and here are our results. Both the Huawei Mate Pad 11.5 and the Xiaomi Pad 6 are great tablets to have as a daily driver. Viewing media, gaming, and being productive on these tablets are great choices. The Xiaomi Pad 6 has a bigger battery and more multi-screen options, while the Huawei Mate Pad 11.5 has access to PC-level WPS Office out of the box and a bigger display. But it's time to talk about a big factor when choosing between these devices to purchase. The price. The Huawei Mate Pad 11.5 is priced at 15,999 pesos for the 6 gig version, while the 8 gig variant has a price tag of 19,999. That's not all though. As of making this video, besides the WPS Office, the 8 gig version comes free with Huawei's detachable magnetic keyboard. So do take note of that, especially if you plan on using this device for work. Meanwhile, the Xiaomi Pad 6 is priced at 20999 for the 128GB version, while the 256GB of internal storage config costs 21999 pesos. As of the moment, there are no freebies when you buy this device, so you do have to purchase the keyboard and the pen separately. So, what do you think of these two tablets? Which one are you gonna grab? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video or found it informative, Hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell icon to be notified of future uploads. Also, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And visit yugatech.com to stay updated with the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this has been CJ, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya!